Welcome to another short subject from EducateVirtually.com. This is part three in our five-part series on the DMAIC Process Improvement Success Criteria. So now that we're into phase three, which is the Analyze phase. So phase three, Analyze, the objectives are as follows. We're going to develop theories about our process and we're going to test them to understand the root causes of the problems. So really what we're trying to do here in the analyze phase is to find out which variables in the process make a difference or not. What are things that make a difference? Does the shift make a difference? Time of day, day of the week. Machine A versus machine B. Okay, process area A versus process area B. What makes a difference? So we have to come up with things that we can test, those theories, where we say, well, let's find out if this makes a difference or not. We can collect that data and then use some analysis methods to understand what the root causes are and what makes a difference or not. So we want to understand the variables, and we're trying to identify and verify the root causes. That's the prime objective here in the analyze phase of DMAIC. So the tools, brainstorming. Here's where we're going to use some creativity techniques to see if we can uncover what's going on within our process and get some of that a priori knowledge of all the people that are process participants so we can share that collectively. Affinity diagrams can help us group information into likely categories that could be rated and ranked using nominal group technique. Tree diagrams can help us there. Cause and effect, fishbone, Ishikawa charts, all the same thing. All right. Control charts, so we can take a look at our process over time. What does it look like over time? All right. Data collection and sampling plans. The process mapping, we need to have detailed current state process maps so we can take a look at cycle time and processing time. We want to evaluate value added and non-value added with process activity analysis. We also want to look at inventory positions. So all of these things yield as well. All these things on our detailed process map helps us to understand our current state so we can identify what are the things that cause the current state to be where it is, which we're trying to improve on. So what are those root causes that give us our current performance? All right, and then we can come up with some hypothesis tests. We can use correlation. We could use quality function employment. We could use regression, design of experiments. There's a lot of tools and methods that we could use and we'll just have to pick and choose the ones that make the most sense based on the type of process that we're dealing with. All right. So there's many tools in our toolbox. We don't always use every single tool. All right, the deliverables. What are those potential causes for our issues? What's the criteria that we use to narrow our field of focus so now we're honing in on what we think are the real root causes of the problem? All right, so what's the analysis? We did some data analysis. We used some statistics. So what do we know about validation of our root causes? What did we learn? All right, how do we interpret the analysis? And finally, we end up with a list of verified root causes to our issues. So now we're prepared to go into the improved phase where we can come up with some creative solutions to tackle the issues that we now have validated.